Hi guys, uh, today I thought I would uh, demonstrate the best method in the last 20 years that I've found in terms of cleaning tracks. Now, track cleaning might be therapeutic, but after a while it gets fairly boring. So basically you want to be as effective as possible without in any way damaging any of the special track that's taken so long to put down. So I've developed a technique that I find really efficient. Now the products I'm using today, we've got the Woodland Scenics Tidy Track Wand with the maintenance pads. We have one individual Woodland Scenic maintenance pad. We have some liquid Autozole metal polish. We have some electrical contact cleaner. It can be any sort as long as it's plastic um, compatible. Some Swiss Biz cotton tops. And the obligatory bog roll. <laughs> so the key thing I've found, and so here's the bottom of the maintenance pads. Now, Woodland Scenics recommends uh, a three, three or four step process. Now, uh, this track here hasn't been cleaned for six years. Okay, so you can see some parts of the track where I have cleaned here, 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 and hopefully you can see they're quite shiny. This section from here all the way down through this point is uncleaned. And so it's really quite rough on my finger, whereas these are silky smooth. So I suggest you just get straight in with the maintenance pad. But the trick is using it with the Autozole. So if we get some Autozole. Get a cotton top swisper. Just dip it in and the beauty of this is that it actually cleans off to some extent as you can see it's starting to do some of the previous residue that's been picked up by your previous cleaning and also it impregnates it to a certain extent with that metal polish which is obviously great for chrome so we'll just do a little bit down here yeah great for the chrome on your car without scratching it so therefore it's going to be great on your rails because the key thing is you don't really want to scratch the rails and the woodland scenics heavy duty abrasive pad will do just that whereas this maintenance pad is really ideal for only just taking off the bare minimum of what you want. You can see how that's cleaned up quite nicely. So now I'm going to start cleaning the track on the straight. And the straight's super easy with this tool and it's a great device made by Woodland Scenics. And so six years worth of Neglect has all come off basically just like that. Now this wouldn't, this doesn't work just like that unless you put the Autozole on. It takes a lot more rubbing. Now I, I always suggest after that to put just a little bit of spit on the end of Q-tip, bite it into a little bit of a head like that. And then just run that Q-tip down the rail. You can see what that's brought off. And turn it over and do the other side. There you go. So that's the that's the importance of actually finishing off that the straights or the curves with your Q-tip. 
Now the next, the last step with the straights and the curves. So th this is the technique I suggest for the straights and curves. We'll come to the point in a minute. Is just to give it a quick vacuum, just in case you've left any little bits of grit off the maintenance pads or any little bit of fluff off the swispers. And I've set up with my vacuum here a long hose on the end of the vacuum. And I bought this as a, a car cleaning vacuum kit. It's also really great for cleaning your stations, your landscapes, and even your trains. And with the nice soft bristles at the end, you don't do any damage whatsoever. Okay, so on to the points then. So here we're going to take our individual maintenance pair because you don't want to use this on your points. By doing this, you're going to actually start to be abrasive on the, the delicate plastic parts. And as we all know, these flanges are also something you have to be really careful of. So you need to use an individual pad. And they don't suggest this, but I've found that it's really great. So once again, we're going to get our autosol. I'm going to give our maintenance pad a little clean. Normally I wouldn't be doing this on top of the rails, but I'm only just doing that for you guys, for you guys to be able to see it clearly. So you can see how much of the previous rubbish from your previous use of the pad just comes off just like that. So if you do drop any autosol, you obviously want to clean it up because it does leave a, a nasty white residue otherwise. Okay, so here we go. So on the points. Just start with one track at a time. Now usually these things can take ages, but if you do this carefully, and with the autosol on the pad, it's so much easier. So we've already done one straight. Now we're going to head off with this straight. Being careful to not apply any pressure, or very little pressure, upon these delicate flanges. We'll come back to them in a minute. You just want to focus on one thing at a time. And you can see how I've nicely avoided the, the special plastic, the, 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 the thin plastic parts here, which you don't want to really attack. Next, I'll focus on this bit here, which is a bit easier because there's no plastic involved. Now this little bit on the triangle hasn't been done, so I'll just go on our side. He's finished. Okay, so now we're going to come down to these flanges, so just delicately, and I'm just carefully looking to just see them starting to go shiny. And, and I suggest you have them over, pushed over, like I have do them in conjunction it just gives them the extra bit of support in other words don't do this one while it's off the main rail do it when it's actually pressed against the main rail okay so we're making good progress now it's time to get a little bit of another swisper and see how I bite the tip of it so it's pointy. Now I'm going to dip it into the autozole, only just a tiny bit. 
that's actually too much and so I'm just going to wipe it off dab it off onto another one so it's absorbed now you want to get in between the joins now we're very careful here but the importance of this is to produce that really nice electrical conductivity so you don't get your trains grinding to a halt as they go through the points now you can push hard obviously against the the solid rail and then you're obviously really careful and delicate on the back of the flange so you can see how that's working really nicely okay so now oh sorry we'll use a a clean part of the swisper and just wipe off any residue there you go little bits come off now we're going to use some of this once again I bite the tip of the swisper like that spray the contact cleaner onto it and this really makes a huge difference to the conductivity we're taking off any residue from the autozole and we're also producing a really nice connection there we go see still coming off now I suggest doing the biting the tip little bit of spit on the tip of your swisper and wipe the tops of those rails you can see how it makes a difference There you go, well worthwhile. And then the final step, vacuum. Okay guys, so that's the video for today. I hope it was really helpful. Um, it saved me a lot of trouble um, by doing it that way. It's really quick. You get really uh, great points that work really well. Um, so I hope that's really been helpful and um, see you again another time. Thanks.